Disclaimer, this is a generalized guide for newer players, so you try hard HL Reddit users don't get too offended. Create your account during Premium Gala or Flash Gala, pick an element. Read up on the wiki on rerolling and its methods of getting draw tickets. Rerolling can be used to get decent starting characters, however, the character is only as good as the amount of effort you put into the game. If you're going to reroll, try for an elemental summon of your chosen element. Take note, if you make more than 10 accounts with the same IP address, you get a 24 hour ban. Don't use your start dash ticket yet. Surprise ticket and SSR Yoda. He does stupid amounts of damage for early game, just letting you know he falls off mid game, but he's a quality of life character who makes things a lot easier for your early game. For the class you should be aiming for, it should be the Dark Fencer, which is in the tier 3. After that, you should unlock all the other tier 3s one by one. By mastering a class by hitting level 20, you get passes which are permanent for your stats for your main character. The more the better. Join a crew. Join a crew as soon as possible, as strike time and crew skills are very good. Leech raids during strike time, leech raids outside of strike time. Don't feel bad about it, the game's 90% leeching. Use apps like Raid Finder is very useful. I'll leave the link for it in the description. Aim straight for chapter 44 in the story, it unlocks everything in the early game and you can keep going in the story later on. Grind the shit out of raids, make sure you host your entire daily count. If it's Magnafest, which is an event where all your raids cost half stamina, best just do all of them. If not, just focus on your soul element and also max out your pendant count if possible. By maxing out your pendant count, create a farming team consisting of two SRs and one R, ideally using the same element. Spend your pendant on an SSR or mega weapon, which is most optimal for your element. They cost 5,000 pendants each, a limit of two per month. If you don't know what is most optimal for your element, these are the weapons you should be aiming for. These are used to make basic grids. If you don't know what a basic grid, they're on screen right now and take note of it. So now you're ranked 50 and above. Still not sick of the game? Have you thought about making a Bahamut weapon? So basically a Bahamut weapon is, if you ever wanted to be racist on a Japanese mobile game, well the Bahamut weapons got you covered. Bahamut weapons are normal modifier weapons with skills that are just about used in every other grid, which boosts depending on the race of the characters you're using. The races include Human, Draft, Irun, Harvin, Primal and Unknown. Read up on the wiki what Bahamut weapon suits your team the best, or your ideal future team. Leech your way into EX1 classes on co-op and start unlocking them all. Generally it's a good idea to get Swordsmaster and Mechanic first as these are useful classes, such as Slime Blasting for Swordmaster and Mechanic for Instant Ogi or Instant Charge Bar. Start maxing out your pendant count more often. The more pendants, the faster you can build your grid, else you'll regret it. Consider joining a more competitive crew for better results in Guild Wars, and basically that's that. Rank 80, not having fun? This is where you literally quit the game, right? If you're not enjoying yourself at this point, you should just stop playing because the game is just gonna get more grindy. Spend your pendants from the raid for your allocated weapons for your element. Aim for at least three basic grids before heading to 101 which is the HL line. It's best to have an element that helps you farm for your main element. So let's say if you're wind main, make sure you have a fire element to help you beat the shower wind for you faster. Use your start dash to get yourself a grand unit of your choosing. It's recommended to use the start dash on limited characters because they're harder to obtain. However, make sure you do your research. You are spending $30 after all. So you're rank 101, so now you're ready for high level content. From here you want to keep doing your story missions until you unlock all the further content. Majority of the HL raids have elemental resistance, so it's best to start branching out here. Start boosting the rest of your other grids. Unlock the tier 4 by making an EX2 class weapon, this way you hit 2 birds with 1 stone. All you need to do is just make 1 class weapon and the quest for unlocking all the tier 4s will be unlocked. Learn the mechanics of these raids or you'll screw other parties over. Use Spartan or Sage, this way you don't piss too many people off to rage quit, thus making the raid fail. Never leech HL content, it's just awful. You just make things a lot harder for everyone, and the raids just tend to fail. Classes such as Spartan and Sage are good starter choices if you want to be useful at all in at early HL raids. Rose Queen's a good source for class distinctions, which is needed to unlock tier 4 classes. 
High level Bahamut is the only source of primeval horns, so use Spartan or Sage and try and stay useful. People tend to leave these raid early if they aren't going too smoothly, so it'll tend to fail a lot. Forced Eye or Magna Grid is not recommended for fire or water. Make a code of Bahamut weapon. Fully forge a class weapon. Consider using prestige pendants to build into M2 or tier 1 grids. For example, using your prestige pendants to buy Grimnir harps and use the leftover pendants to buy the x to farm wind better if you're a wind main. Probably the last goal here is to get yourself some Eternals, probably at 5 star if you can. So that draws to the end of my generalized guide. There's probably more things I could talk about, but those will be in future videos. Also, don't forget the best guide is yourself. Use the wiki as much as you can and research what you don't know.